Yo, what's up everyone? My name's Dave and you suck at programming. And today, we're gonna talk about the sequence command on Unix, SEQ, versus curly brace expansion in Bash, okay? And why you should prefer one over the other. So let's take a look. Let's see what we got here. We got four scripts, okay? The first one is called 00 cringe. Let's take a look at the cringe script. This is what you guys think is good, okay? 4i in command substitution of SEQ 1 to 10. We're gonna echo i. We don't quote this. We actually don't want it to be quoted. If we quoted, it would break. So we're gonna leave it unquoted and we're gonna run this. Let's see what happens when we actually run this command. 00, zero cringe. We get one all the way up to 10. Cool, that makes sense. That's kind of what we expected, right? Let's look at the next script. Why is this one called base? Because it's better, all right? This is the one that I wrote. For i in one dot dot 10 using curly brace expansion, you can put a little pattern here. So we can say one dot dot, this will create a range. And when we run that, we get the same output, but we didn't fork an external command. We didn't have to look out to the system for SEQ. We used all bash built-ins to accomplish that. Pretty neato, right? So let's take a look at why uh, this might be useful because in this situation, we can actually mix a whole bunch of stuff here. Did you know when you have a for loop, you can just put a bunch of stuff here as long as you separate it by some sort of white space, you're good. So for i in foo, one through four, a through 10, bar. So what's this gonna output? Well, let's take a look. It outputs exactly what you think it would output. You just shove stuff in the for loop and then it just iterates it in that order. Pretty useful, pretty neato. And then what's the last thing we have here? Well, we can get a little bit complex with it. Did you know, I wanna say this is like a bash version four, I don't remember, don't quote me here, but you can actually supply a step here. So we want one through 10, but then we want to step by three. So what does that mean? Well, let's run it. Oh, three complex, run it. And we get one plus three is four plus three is seven plus three is 10. There you go. There's some curly brace numerical expansions in bash. 